right, we got we gotta get gas first. So today, I'm really excited. I've been trying to do this video for a while, but I've been I've been kind of lazy. But um, I've been really meaning to do this video a while. Going to one of my favorite places I visited so far in Colorado. But we gotta get gas first. The drive isn't too bad. It's it's only like a couple. It's only like 20 miles or so from my house, but. Um, it's a drive. It takes about an hour because you have to drive all through like the intermediate mountains or foothills or whatever the hell you want to call it to get to these snowy caps. And the first time I visited in Colorado, my grandparents and my auntie took me here. And this is the first sight I had of the mountains, like being in them. And I just, I just like it here. Like a whole two years ago is when I first visited here. And I just, this place is what made me love this landscape. And, um, Welcome to Estes Park. This is one of my favorite places to go to. And I just, I love it here. It's a lot, it's an awesome place. Um, these peaks right here, this is not where I'm gonna be filming today. There's a specific spot in these mountains that I like to film at. So I'm gonna take off and I'm gonna drive up to one of my favorite filming spots and photography spots that I explored so far. There's a lot more I want to explore. I'm going back to Wisconsin for the summer to hang out with friends and family. But next summer, since everything should be open up again due to COVID reasons, um, I'm going to be exploring a lot more, hopefully inviting my friends and family out here to explore with me. But I'm going to be driving right now up to the spot I love so far that I've seen. Um, hopefully I can make a good video. And I hope, stay tuned and I'll see you there. So yeah, um, so far of where I visited, this is one of my more favorite places to film. And it's just so much fun here because you can just see all around. There's a lake right here that's still frozen. And you got the peaks right here in the background which are just so beautiful. Got a peak right here which is beautiful. I just, I think it's so, so beautiful terrain. And you really don't see this in Wisconsin which is where I'm from. And, dude, it's like, I mean, I've been here before on my channel, but, like, I wasn't that good back then. But, man, it's just beautiful. Man, I wish I would have brought some sunglasses. But honestly, you couldn't ask for a better day. It's so beautiful out. It's actually really chilly. Like, when I left home, it was like 60 degrees almost. But now here, in the mountains, it's like only 43 and super windy. Like, I don't know if this has ruined my audio right now. I kind of hope not. But, nah, I'm just, this is so beautiful. I'm over here staring at the two peaks right here. I really enjoy this so much. And this is literally why I like filming, because I get to capture awesome, awesome stuff like this. So, let's get those two peaks in the background. All right, so one of the new things that's going on in my life, I have quite a bit of money saved, and I might get another new car since I don't know if you guys know this, but on my channel, on my way here, moving to Colorado, my engine blew in the car I bought. So I've been without a car since I've been living here in Colorado. But before I go back to Wisconsin, I'm more likely to be able to get a new car. I'm actually gonna apply for a loan, and I'm very confident I might actually get this. So I'm actually very excited. I'm hoping that will go well. I'm looking for something like a Subaru Outback, better on gas mileage, and you know, it's great for like driving the mountains like this so I could camp in it or whatever. I think it would just be all in all a good car for me and plus they're reliable too. So I heard. One more thing, two more things actually that I want to talk about. One really quick thing, it doesn't, it's not really relevant, it's just something that I just, I'm happy I started learning. I like playing around with manual focus because I think when shooting B-roll, manual focus is a lot easier at getting more cinematic shots and 
I didn't know this, but I, my camera has focus peaking, which basically means if you turn that setting on, it shows you what's in focus and what is not. It highlights basically what's in focus in a color. In a bright day, it's kind of hard to see in a viewfinder, so I just, or on the screen, so I just look through the viewfinder to see what's in focus. And I think it just makes skin cinematic shots a lot better. Also, another thing, I'm selling my Osmo Pocket because all I really use that for is time lapses and panoramas. And I could pretty much do that with this thing. I could get time lapse out of this M50, and I could also just take a couple pictures in Photoshop, merge it into a panorama. So, like, what's the point of having that? I also am selling my Mavic Mini, the DJI drone, because I'm just ready to upgrade to a more cinematic, a more professional drone. Because I'm able to like, because then I'm able to get more cinematic shots. I can record in a more flat profile. I could stretch that color grade out a little bit more. And I can also match my drone to my camera. It has a 64 megapixel sensor, or a 48, whatever. It's all, way better than my Mavic Mini. And also on high winds like this, like, it's a beast, bro. It's a beast, and it can handle high winds. My Mavic Mini, there has to be no wind outside in order for me to fly that thing. So I'm selling both of those, and then with that money, I'm hopefully I'm going to get $500 for both of those items. And then that way I only need to spend $300 more. And then I'm trying to get the Mavic Air 2. I'll probably only have to spend like three, $300 on my pocket, which is for a $800 purchase. It's, it's a bet. I just re met some really nice people. They um, they they were like, "Hey, what's that thing on your camera?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's just a vlogging camera. I like making videos." And they're asking about if I made YouTube and stuff. They're really nice people. I told them I was from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Just moved here for like a film career. And they were really into it. You know, like I was always embarrassed about doing stuff like this and like showing people what I do. Because I mean, not gonna lie, I started out really cringy. I just, you just gotta own it up. You gotta be proud of what you do. So I'm like on the other side of the trail now. I'm pretty close to the end of the trail around the lake. It's not a really big lake, but it's just, it's pretty cool. Um, I did, however, wanna practice for this, was I wanted to practice getting awesome b-roll sequences but I want to introduce a little bit of sound design in my channel I've been doing a lot of research on it and I just want to open up my creativity like that and I think it's a great way to start doing it and hope I don't know if I would be good at it right off the bat but I brought my field recorder with me oh my god always but um yeah so I'm gonna go back over there on the other side of the lake and hopefully make some good sound design in my b-roll sequences. I don't know, we could try it, but um, I think it'll be pretty cool. Also, look at this view. Look at, look at this. Who doesn't like that, bro? Like literally, who doesn't like that? Tell me, please, who doesn't like that? Who doesn't appreciate that? All right, so with that being said, Let's roll the B-roll sequence, right? About... No.
I'm heading back down to the car now. I think I got everything. I was up here sitting on this rock for like a good 20 minutes. Um, let me know in the comments below if you think I did it. Alright, Javanet, let me know what you think I should do better and blah blah blah. But um yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that in my videos because I think they're just it's just awesome. Me watching YouTubers I watch do the same thing. And it's just so cool. So I wanna try to be like that. If not better. But, um Damn it's dangerous. Snow is slippery. Ugh. But yeah, um, get you back at the car. Alright. <sighs> well, I never want to leave this place. Reminds me of when I was in a kid, when I was a kid and I was visiting or camping in the Dells in Wisconsin. I never wanted to leave. It's the same feeling. It just It's like a place in paradise almost. I got one more thing to show you before I end the video, so don't click away yet. So you might have seen this place, because I, I think I've taken at least a few pictures and posted them on Instagram about it. And this is also a really nice place I like to photograph and just video. I don't think I ever videoed it though yet, so this might be my first time. But it's just such a cinematic picture taking spot. And if you want to see it, here it is. This is, I think, Long's Peak in the background. Here's this really old church right here. And it's just such a nice place to photograph. It's so cinematic. It's just awesome. I love it. Let's end this at my crib. So, see you back there. Okay. So, well, first of all, how do you like my my YouTube setup? <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's just a, basically a temporary setup that makes my face look all right when I do outros on my desk until I buy it, legit studio lights, but this will have to do for now. And if I didn't tell you guys, I don't think you guys would have noticed how bad it was, so, or how janky it is. Anyway, I'm glad you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, please share, share, and share as much as you possibly can. I need, I need all the followers I could get. It would really, really help me out, and I would really appreciate it. Um, I love you guys, I love all you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video if you made it this far. Please like, subscribe, tap that notification bell, just to get my new content and whenever I post new videos. So, with that being said, See you in the next video. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy.